Hey guys, Logan here, great to see you and welcome to another video. Let's dive right into the next two maps and their capture points. As I said in the last video, this is info from the developers and it can be found on the Batfield website, but I want to give you all the latest info, I don't want you to miss out on anything. So let's check out the beta map, Rotterdam. Capture point A, train station bureaus. In the west is flag A, situated directly under the railway and flanked by a set of stairs. At first glance it feels exposed to enemy fire with the surrounding streets and buildings, but a support class soldier and a squad mate can quickly transform this open area into a fortification of sandbags and mountain machine guns. When fully fortified this becomes the largest piece of fortifications on Rotterdam. However, the wide streets leave this area very acceptable to tank attacks. Capture point B, White House. You can probably find the route to flag B by looking up, since it's categorized by a large landmark White House. Two levels keep much of the battle indoors and a squad's fortification can fend off enemies rotating from flag D at bay. Once a team has fortified the White House, the point becomes the classic the stuff of World War II films, where you will be commanding a center point and just holding it against attackers with everything you got. But beware the maze of back alleys behind the White House. Capture point C, Courtyard. The courtyard, nestled by surrounding buildings, is tricky and requires a good combination of offense and defense to hold. It can be shut down from nearly all avenues of approach and main entranceways can be walled off by fortifications, forcing enemies to fight through or blow up interiors. Still, defenders can be cornered, surrounded and flushed out by a well-timed push. Capture point D. Ruins. Ruins is an open space of rubble and a preview of what's to come. The buildings have been mangled into a maze of splittered wood and shared foundation. Soldiers will play the most dangerous hide and seek game here, challenging the entries from the east and north sides with fortifications. The capture area is relatively small for a conquest match, making ruins one of the most challenging to capture. Capture point E, Wilhelm's Bridge. This flag is a war on two fronts, of sort, fight to control one of two levels, the car garage below or the open road above. This is the Axis Force's first spawn point, so expect a rotating exchange of infantry skirmishes to be settled in the garage. Get to the upper deck on one of the two staircases where you will likely to find tanks testing their armor. Not much cover outside a few abandoned vehicles here, but like other Rotterdam points, it can be fortified with barricades and gun emplacements. This area is relatively safe when compared to an other ambush heavy alleys found throughout the map. Just don't get too comfortable. Okay, that was Rotterdam. Let's go over and see the totally destroyed map. Devastation. Capture point A. Train wreck. This collection of destroyed trains and tracks is the nearest flag from the Axis and the best place to stage a takeover of Flag C, the central hub of devastation. The overturned platforms provide an elevated perch to hold off incoming foes. What's left of the train tracks can be used to move to the outskirts of Flag D to either deny an attack or contest the site. Capture Point B, Library. One of the few recognizable landmarks within Devastation, Flag B operates as a flanking position for either Axis or Allies. Bombs have shaved off the top of the library, leaving every room with a view, but thankfully all planes are long gone. What's left of the walls and doorways across the three floors are a good interior hiding spots, requiring a constant patrol to keep enemies out. Capture Point C, Cathedral. This is the centerpiece of devastation. The monodramatic grey walls are colored by kindled pyres and whatever light can be peered through the smoky sky. This is where squad coordinate with all four classes to wage a non-stop hectic battles to capture this massive landmark. Claim the location and brace for a barrage from all sides, since Flag C is surrounded by every other capture point. Capture Point D, Cinema. To the east is the last reminder of a modern city. The intact neon signs light the way to a flag enclosed by shadow glass, steel and rubble. A few rows of seats still await an audience, but the cinema is only showing one film genre these days, war. Flag D is uh, the natural expansion point for the allies who can move on the train tracks to attack flag A or stage an assault on anyone unfortunate enough to get caught leaving the cathedral. Capture point E. Old Mall. Flag E is ideal for the allies and an obvious maneuver point into the cathedral. The involuntary outdoor mall is ripped to urban skirmishes between what's left of the outer walls. The ground floor has caved into the parking garage below, creating another area for control. 
If you capture this flag but not the nearby flag C, try to look up, because the mole faces the tallest side of the cathedral, where a good recon or assault player can pick off careless soldiers. Okay, there you have the capture points on Rotterdam and Devastation. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a like. Don't forget to leave your comment down below and I hope to see you all in my next video. This is Logan, signing out. <laughs>